that's why we're focusing on technology today. Because the fact of the matter is you have grown your business by, by developing trust and confidence with your clients. And so I want to show you how to take what you already do in the real world and apply it online. Now is the time for us to polish up our profiles because tomorrow is not guaranteed. How many of you are on LinkedIn regularly, meaning at least once a week? Okay, about half of you, not bad, okay. How many of you are on Facebook? Keep your hand up if it's Facebook for business only. Okay, anybody on Twitter? I think there's only, oh wow, okay, that's fascinating. Twitter confuses people. Um, and I think the reason Twitter confuses people is because they're often following other confused people. Futurist, so I'm used to looking at things five, ten years into the future. We have been mating with our devices for the past 20 years. Not that definition of mating. <laughs> being fixed with, being merged with. So the first thing I want to pose to you is technology is changing humans. Humans are developing something called digital amnesia. All that that means is that we're retaining less information because we have devices that will remember things for us. So Google Alerts is a free service from Google that lets you know when someone mentions or a word or terms that you're following online. Crystal, you are known for sharing tech tools. So what are the cool tools that we should all be using now? Oh, there are so many. And the fact of the matter is they've always been there, but in the past we didn't have to depend on them. So now we get a chance to try them out. The other cool thing about BombBomb and some of the other tools is you can actually track and see when they open things. So I send it over. And you know, I see they're all clicking on. I get little updates on the side. I can see when people click on things. But sometimes I'll see that they click on the same email. Maybe we've done business together, but I notice, hey, they just reopened this email a year later. It pops up in my little emails. I just see they opened this from a year ago. So what do I do? I find an excuse to contact them. I'm like, you know what? I just saw this article and it made me think of you, Tiffany. Most people, 99% of people have no idea about is that you can actually follow a Twitter account from a mobile phone that has no access to the internet even if you do not have a Twitter account. So if there's a natural disaster about to strike, let's say that there's a tornado, I guarantee you, let's say there's a tornado coming down in Oklahoma, because it happens a lot, right? I guarantee you as this tornado is coming down, there is someone who is running away from that tornado that as they're running, they still find the time. It has been a crazy year, and anyone would be afraid or just wondering what's coming next, and we have no way of knowing what's coming even a month from now. Forget planning years in advance, right? However, this is a time of unique opportunity. So number one, make sure that your picture is updated, okay? So that might mean that you have to uh, do your own COVID haircut. How many of you in here sleep with your mobile phone? I want you to notice what happened. When I asked that question, you heard whispering all over the room. <laughs> and someone said something like, what does she mean? In the bed, by the bed, on the floor? <laughs> now also social media, this is so important as we start to get into some of the tactics. It does not replace face-to-face, -face, phone calls, or handwritten notes. I put this in every single presentation I've ever given in life in any country. Which is why you all pop up so much, right? And so understand that these are two sides of the same coin. 
Social media provides us with a non-spooky way to touch people in between these other interactions. So if I go on Facebook and I see that the way that it's set up has changed one day, I look at that and I'm like, ah, oh, they've changed things again. Let me figure out how this works. If my mom logs into Facebook and they've reconfigured the page, I promise you this is my mother. I can't tell you how important words are because two of the major social networks that I mentioned run off of keywords. Raise your hand if you know what a keyword is. Raise your hand if you have key clients or influencers that you would like to stay top of mind with them, like you want them to remember you exist, right? All right. Do you head over to their office every day and say, hey, I was just thinking about you. <laughs> Ma'am, you said you are a stalker. Is that what you just admitted to? <laughs> oh, I think it's extremely powerful. And that's just going back to that reaching out. How are you doing? You know, there's so much going on in the world. Tell me about you right now. And you would be surprised, Susan, or maybe you wouldn't. How many people right now haven't had anyone around them, even in their immediate circle, say, how are you doing? because everyone's trying to convince everyone else to be strong and power on. But in terms of social media, there's a few things you should do really on two different social networks. One for sure, the other one's a maybe. So the first social network is LinkedIn. The culture of LinkedIn is business. It's all business. People don't wanna see pictures of our babies. They don't wanna see pictures of our cats. They don't wanna see videos of our babies riding our cats. All they want is business. And so, if that makes sense for you and how you're doing your business and connecting with people on that professional business level, that is the social network for you, okay? Keywords are words or terms that you wanna be found for online, right? Most of us know this when it comes to things on the web, um, when it comes to our websites themselves, but did you know that LinkedIn runs on keywords? Did you know you cannot be found in a search for words that are not somewhere in your profile? Same thing if you created a company page. And so you have to think about what are all the search terms that someone might look for. Maybe sales personnel, they're trying to find out unique ways to connect with their clients and start campaigns. What kind of words would they type in to find my solutions? And make sure that those words are contained somewhere in that profile. It's called a Google file type search, okay? So what you're going to do is you put in whatever it is you're looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for New Mexico, NAIOP. This is an association of real estate investors, okay? Member emails. Now, if you type this in, you're not gonna find this anymore because someone told them I was doing this and they pulled it, okay? But at the end, you're gonna put file type colon XLS. That means you're saying, hey Google, I only want Excel sheets that fit this description. You wanna see what popped up when I clicked on the second thing? Who wants to see? Raise your hands. I need you to be real excited, I'm about to change your lives. Okay, when I clicked on it, I got this. It gave me their first names, last names, title, organization, address, city, state, zip, phone number, fax number, email address, member type, status, and scope. Are there a contractor, broker, financer? I like those cat calls, I see you. How many of you are excited? <laughs> 